This is Ember Jackson, Senior Pastor, First United Methodist Church, sharing another devotion with you. This is a post-Pentecost time of the year in the Christian church and the time where we remember that Jesus Christ promised us and we have received the Holy Spirit from on high. Here now, the reading from Acts, the second chapter, verses 37 through 42. It is entitled, The First Convert, The First Convert. Hear now these words. Now when they had heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what must we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 were added. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teachings and fellowship to the breaking of bread and prayers. What powerful words are these? Pentecost has occurred. The disciples, 120 followers of the new way, the Christian way, have received the Holy Spirit from on high with the sound like a rushing wind, with tongues of fire landing on each of their heads, with the ability to speak in tongues so that all may understand regardless of what language they speak, and to be empowered with God's Holy Spirit and to be bold. And after this, Peter preaches such a powerful message. The Bible says that they were cut to the heart because of Peter's powerful, powerful message. And powerful messages can do that to all of us, to those who preach them and those who hear. But then the people asked the apostles, what must we do? The same question that was asked of Jesus prior to his crucifixion, what must I do to be saved? And in this case, Peter says, repent of all of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and if you do this, your sins will be forgiven and you can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Today, during this time of racial upheaval and violence in our country, police fighting against citizens and citizens against the police, with the racial divide and the social economic divide in our country getting more and more spread out, what is it that God would have us to do? I believe that God would have us to repent of our sins, the sin of racism, the sin of exclusivism, the sin of failing to see our brothers and sisters as truly our brothers and sisters. And so today, I invite all of us to repent of our sins, whatever they might be. If we have not been baptized, I invite us to be baptized by God's Holy Spirit and to remember that God, through Jesus Christ and the receiving of the Holy Spirit, can make us individually and collectively a better people. May God bless you all. Amen.